Oh, baby. Hey, sweetie. So much work today, hey? Yeah, it's so exciting. Oh, uh, look what we did. Do you want to give a tour of what everything is? Yes. Okay. Our very first garden. It's so exciting. A Red Haven peach tree, 2011. This is our new cherry tree. Just go pick your own dessert right after dinner every night. You tell them, Dave. So these are all different types of tomatoes. We're going to see what ones work well. Mm -hmm. And then in front, these are all three different types of basil, because I guess basil is supposed to make your tomatoes look really good. Mm -hmm. That's what we read on the Wikipedia companions plant. Companion planting. It's supposed to make them look good or just no, grow well? No, it's supposed to make them taste good having parsley and basil by the tomatoes. Mm -hmm. And here, this is our carrot patch, all this. Yeah, nothing yet, just seeds, eh? And then behind there's a row of yellow beans, green beans. Did you plant the yellow beans? Yeah. Okay, good, because I didn't. And cucumbers back there? Yeah, so another row of cucumbers. Mm -hmm. And the cucumbers has to be away from the zucchini, otherwise they cross-pollinate and like, become each other. Mm -hmm. Then we're calling this area the salad bar, <laughs> because we have spinach here, followed by arugula, and followed by lettuce. Some type of purple lettuce? Radicchio. Radicchio lettuce. Which so is radicchius. And also, I guess, I guess the carrots and beans are good for to be by tomatoes because they take different stuff. I just love these because my grandpa had so many of these uh, peas. And at the very back behind is celery stalks, mm -hmm. which I don't think is a good idea because it takes so long to grow. Celery is not that awesome. Yeah, no, it's and not. These are peppers. We have lots of different types of peppers. This is like our spicy stuff, it seems. And then we have sweet peppers, green peppers, and yellow peppers. This is plants all around it. It's um, chamomile, mm -hmm. so we can dry it and make tea. But the chamomile, you put at the bottom of all your peppers because I don't know why. That's what you do. Because it gives a good um, ground cover, yada, yada, yada. Now in front here is kale. So we mm. have to find more cool things to do kale. Kale, we just, over the past couple of years, have really started to like. And then in behind the kale, we have, the, this is chives and green onions are together. So the green onions will, are, were seeded. And then in behind that, we have cauliflower, we're testing out. And then behind it is the zucchini. It takes up a little back. And from my experience, the zucchini will be a big bush. So we gave it lots of room. And then... This is just going to fill in like crazy, eh? Well, yeah. And we're going to need more space. Other than the basil, which is by the tomatoes. And then the chamomile, which is by the peppers. Mm -hmm. We have two different mint, spearmint and mojito mint. Mm -hmm. So we'll have to learn that recipe. And then this is uh, cilantro, which we had inside, which kind of died, so we're hoping the cilantro comes back. And then this is uh, parsley bushes. And then this is Greek oregano and golden oregano. And last but not least, this is our cat garden. <laughs> so it is catnip, which is cats are already destroyed. And then um, sprinkled here is just cat grass. So, and I bet you they won't eat that cat grass, but they will go crazy for that cat now. Yeah, so that's their little, their little place to the cats. That's what it is. So yeah, we'll, we'll check in, let's videotape it at the end of the year and kind of go over what we learned, okay? Yes. Yeah, anyways, there's the garden. 2011. Garden 1.0, hey? Yeah. <laughs> Look it. And this is Buzz. This is Buzz. He fell out of the window the other day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Buzz, you're crazy. Crazy, crazy idiot. device. You're a celebrity on YouTube.